Yeah, we're driving north of Dar es Salaam about, uh, about uh, 15 miles or so. And it's an area full of, uh, of small villages scattered across various hillsides and hilltops. We're going through one now. And around us also is an emerging, signs of an emerging middle class. The middle class in Tanzania recognizes opportunities. They're buying various acreages in this area of land and starting to build very nice houses. Often it's only for investment purposes and sometimes it's the idea is that they'll live here when they retire or in the future. But uh, when you look across the countryside you can begin to see a lot of these new homes. Another sign of the emerging middle class is that the roads in Dar are incredibly full. When we look at who's behind the wheel, it's mostly Tanzanians. So the number of cars in Dar, I just read the other day, increases about 20% uh, every six months. So when there's very few roads being built, it's leading to a huge congestion problem. But on the bright side, it's a sign that more and more Tanzanians can actually afford a vehicle, which is, uh, which is a good thing. The good news about Africa, which frequently doesn't get out in the papers, is that there's about 20, here's a good, here's a good indicator, there's about 20 public equity markets now in Africa. And over the last four or five years, of the top 10 performing markets in the world, at least three, sometimes up to five, have come from Africa. So it's a very interesting um, time in terms of uh, in terms of emergence from what they call a frontier market to an emerging market. The kind of companies that are starting to grow um, beyond what any any other company in the world would ever be able to grow is cell phone companies. There's over 300 million cell phone users in Africa now and in a population of uh, roughly 900 million. The internet use has exploded. I, re I just read the other day that in 1998 there was about one internet user for every 30,000 people in Africa. Now there's one internet user for every 150 people in Africa. Wow. Meaning uh, internet cafes, most of them don't have computers, but they, they go online, they have email addresses. Um, this has not gone unnoticed to uh, entrepreneurs. Internet companies are popping up everywhere. Um, ISP providers are a dime a dozen in Dar. And what that means for for Africa is access to communications. It means that uh, a lot more information gets to the grassroots level in these villages. Cell phone use is huge. It means that someone in a rural village doesn't have to spend two days on a bike and on dollar dollars or buses. They can actually go get information on their cell phone in a split second that used to take days. Yeah. For instance, market prices for agriculture goods. Um, for instance, going to find the guy who has the one truck in the area to pick up your vegetables that you want to sell. That used to take days, and now it takes uh, minutes. So the speed at which Africa is, could develop is, is, is very apparent now.